It's great to be here with you today in the track where I um, talk about the observability topics. In my presentation, I will focus on the story. Uh, as most of the people know that over the past few years, and the couple of ways uh, growing on the adoption of the microservice, we believe as one of the most important monitoring and the troubleshooting method. In this talk, uh, in this talk, I will show you the evolution of the distributed tracing story layers from the classic the big data based database to a modern document based search engine and the time series database. Uh, this all uh, be used uh, in very uh, uh, environment for our company. So finally, I will explore Apache Sky Working's storage layer as an example to discuss about how to combine the various storage engines together. Uh, Sky Working, some people uh, will know that it's a popular open source tracing and APM platform. Okay. I hope that this talk will contribute to uh, our audience uh, to give uh, to help them to understand the history and all uh, the history of the distributed uh, storage layer, and it helps to clarify the different types between the different stories and help them to make some decision how to opt to a proper storage layer. Next. Let me briefly introduce myself. Uh, I'm from the Tetrade. I'm the engineer of the Tetrade.io. Tetrade is a stand-up company that provides the practice and the playbooks that enterprise can use to modernize their people and the process by ISO and AVOI. The customer also can get observability empowered by the Apache Sky Working. I'm the one of the PMC members of Apache Sky Working. Uh, at the meantime, I'm also a PMC member of another Apache uh, topic, uh, top project, uh, Transphere, which is a distributed middleware of the uh, database. So that's why I'm really interested in the tracing and the stories. So I want to put them together to show you uh, how they can work, how well they can work. Okay, this is uh, our agent. The first part, we will introduce the tracing uh, to give uh, our uh, give you the basic background on the context of what's the tracing, how to storage the tracing date. The second part, we will focus on the classic storage. In this uh, section, we will uh, see the uh, big table. Uh, the first uh, distributing uh, system uh, from Google is the Dapper. He used the big table as the storage uh, uh, layer. So. the king point so this section will focus on it the last part we will uh, show you some example how sky working to storage his tracing date how to choose the storage layers uh, uh, the pros accounts and uh, how to make the, the different story data together okay let's start it the first one was the tracing we we'll introduce the distribute tracing storage Distributing makes things easier. We know that, we always know that, but it makes things more harder. This applies a lot. You hear this a lot in the cloud and the internet world. But in fact, the original phase is the cloud makes things easier, which makes things harder. As we abstract all these pieces, or as we add additional abstraction, we create more distributed models and a distributed system. We have more place for seeing like the latency will come up and build ourselves. 
Another problem is that the latency is one of the things so called up, uh, called up. Uh, uh, brand wise costs money. We know we all know that latency lives forever. So if you can control the latency and not how to limit the speed of light, oh, just uh, kidding, right? Uh, no, no one can uh, limit the speed of light. But you, wa you want to get close as uh, possible if you want. So abstraction makes things harder. The question is that where the things went wrong and what went wrong inside of light? Yeah, this is the real world. So we're not getting that simpler. This is uh, just being like the front end is an e-commercial system attached to the back end of an e-commercial system. And there's a number of different pieces and stories in society that you probably familiar with the concept. Is that so? Availability is one of the tools you can deal with this scanner today. So, how to look at the pieces inside here? The reason I this up to here is that observability really include, includes what are called the four golden signals, and the uh, first is the event, second, laws, the third, the traces, and the, the uh, capacity to. Uh, describe how to contain them small. You need to able to look light or for them to truly be looking at the system. Otherwise, you are going to be able to do this. My favorite is called from someone I really don't know now, but uh, he said that you see, but you do not observe for here. And if you are looking at one of the things you have no idea what's going on inside so you look at the map it's a mesh it, it looks like a tra uh, trashish you can't find out a single uh, context or single meaningful point from this map <coughs> this lake let's dive into the pool without knowing how deep it is so be sure that uh, you actually looking like all of these pieces so let's talk about the tracing data, uh, data model. So traces have a unique identifier to it. It can be as something as simple as a transaction ID. It could be as complex as one of the emerging standards, uh, just like open tracing, uh, even the UUID or some like a skywalking uh, trace model ID, but it has to be unique. Uh, once you have a unique identifier, it's all sorts of the retreating uh, that you can do without having necessary to re-instrument everything in the world. So tracing uh, do fit together. But tracing is a high volume, high, high candidate. So tracing will tell you when things are not running correctly in a patent match environment. Tracing can tell you something wrong. And at that time point, uh, at that point in time, uh, dive into what went, what went wrong. So uh, when you have a distributed tracing environment, um, you're actually looking like all of the little in ones that happened with all of the little segments. So you want to put them into a performance order and you uh, they anchor with the length of time. You want to know when something is slow or what went slow, not only inside of a large picture of the service, but actually inside the service itself, you still want to know what's going on inside. And then you want to 
Apple II in the sense that like look like uh, the visually, and then you want to be able in the sense look at it visually. This is a uh, water a uh, four flow, uh, because that's all from top here. So a slightly different the vision of site of infinite the root cause of analyze KB my site. A lot of what I talk about is building on the concept of scale around the, the service. Why there is a service environment? Somebody else is providing the service. When whether it's a service of mesh environment such like working with the east just like we always do in for our company whether it's a macro service that will be the complete uh complete bell cell that's all really important if your problem is a single thread and the monolithic uh, system you properly don't need the distributed tracing you can do some uh, old tech uh, tools to analyze your performance issues when life get complex, when you are going to actually look at the distributing tracing, that's one of the important uh, tips for, uh, for you. Rather than looking at the end of the point, you are now looking at the parts of the times in the middle of these two pieces. The first thing you hear is a span. Span is the shortest and the smallest in total. Spans are odd the things that the measure from in its instrumented point and the span can be a HTTP request or could be a database query. Ah, let's come here for instance uh, in database you will see a query, uh, you will see a fetch, you will see a complete, you will see all of the different pieces and then one of this is our unique span inside of uh, here and each span can have the multiple side of doing this. So a lot of ways of doing distributed tracing. Uh, there are companies that are built them own distributed tracing models for themselves, but most of the users adopt to open source and the commercial solutions that like Skyworking, Zipkin, and uh, other APM uh, provider to uh, provide their uh, production to them. Okay, so here's a uh, trace identifier as well. At the start to finish of the request, every trace ID is unique, but IDs are only unique within a trace ID. You can do be, you can be re, uh, reuse them in different trace. Uh, there are a pair that cross those two things. There are a parent ID, which says that where the call comes from, and what the descending order looks like. And there's a lot of the labels, uh, which can be the key value pairs, and the, could be whatever you want to. Uh, inside of this, you will have the things called the span contact. A span contact is a set of values that get the shift along way uh, for the right. So by uh, uh, combining this together, you can go from the identification to the root cause analysis as fast as we possibly can. Uh, but basically, service one called the service B, uh, uh, service two, uh, service two record service three and uh, service four. Uh, up here is a starting core. Uh, this is no parent ID. Uh, it calls own parent ID reference to the to the background the service one. Uh, ID two references the uh, back to the service uh, that start just trip. Your point. Here is if you notice that the trace ID stays the same and the span ID change in each one of these very simple elements, this very, very simple uh, model of doing this multiple at a time, something like uh, uh, fast new date service or Microsoft service. So about uh, 2000 is running for single transaction as a pinpoint how to select the storage layer for trace and span to get such amount of date. Okay, let's move on. The second part, we will talk about uh, the classic stories. Uh, we will talk about the Dapper, uh, Big Table, and the Cassandra, uh, considered for the open source solutions. Okay, Dapper. Dapper is a good tracing system that uh, was already great to understand the system behaving from a search request. Now, Google's production cluster uh, generates more than one TB of simple trace per day from his uh, open uh, representation. That is described 
uh, in a very while written and detailed papers. Uh, the paper named is Dapper, a large scale distributed system tracing infrastructure uh, by Benjamin uh, Sigma and other amazing guys. Uh, Dapper Ops um, has a similar uh, trace model, just like uh, I explained in the uh, previous section. Dapper uses uh, annotation based uh, scammer, uh, just like uh, uh, I also talk about uh, uh, the label system in which application and the middleware except to tag every record with a global identifier that links this message record back to the original. Oh, okay, sorry for that. <laughs> will, will disappear. So I'm back. Okay, and so I don't know how to disappear. I will um, do some summaries about what I have said. Uh, I have set the big table and uh, I was a keen feature of them. Uh, it's no circle database, a uh, large data site, and uh, high throughput. And uh, I uh, gave some, uh, uh, we'll dive into how big table works, uh, uh, like the load balancer, I have a, a GFF system to handle this uh, high throughput. And uh, we also mentioned that high throughput uh, can be uh, linear upward scale. So um, that, that's a key point for uh, tracing uh, storage. So the last uh, section we will talk about uh, the, uh, how tracing data can be stored into the uh, big table. Uh, it shows uh, there is a store a single trace and each column will store a spine. And because um, the it's a column based database, so, so you can uh, store uh, several any uh, numbers of the spans in, in one single row. So, thanks uh, for the, uh, uh, the just like I, I had mentioned that, uh, thanks for the big table, is a column database. Uh, we can uh, write um, a, a, a battery span into one single row because we can't add. Uh, made the number of spans in one single choice. Uh, please remember this is a key feature of our tracing system. So uh, let, let's uh, give some uh, conclu uh, conclusion about how uh, what the tracing stories uh, should be look like. Uh, from the uh, function of the big table, I summarize some of the key points and the principles of a classic tracing storage. First, it should be uh, increasing high throughput date. Uh, it might have a lot of balancer to rewrote incoming tracing data and the distributed story engine to spread out uh, them across a number of service nodes, even more uh, distributed fuel system. The second line, the story system could uh, scale up linearly, especially it should scale at the wrong time. A tracing system is a central observability architecture <laughs> And the uh, effect varies the monitor and the uh, analyze system. And the uh, amount of the trace state varies in different time uh, based on uh, some requirement. Uh, scale, uh, scalability is necessary for the kinds of storage. And uh, uh, finally, because of the arbitrary structure of the tracing date, uh, we have to talk, uh, as I have to talk, talk about that earlier. A trace storage should process the same structure and unstructured date. In today's uh, uh, tech world, it uh, uh, may be either a distributed database or uh, could be a, a cloud database. So uh, there's uh, uh, some uh, open source uh, options. So we can use the Kensin draw and all the OHPs to store razor, uh, uh, to store our tracing data just like a big table. So different view between just two databases is that uh, HP need uh, a central metadata uh, uh, metadata uh, system to tell the client uh, which node uh, their data should be written. And the case you uh, just simply to connect one of his node to just uh, send your tracing data. Hey, we, uh, this node as a coordinates node to help to uh, reroute your uh, data to a specific uh, node. So in next uh, section, I will uh, 
give you more um, uh, options about the how to store the tracing data. The three section is the uh, modern hybrid database. Uh, MySQL and the other uh, uh, relation database, uh, traditional MySQL uh, don't appropriate the tracing and the uh, logs general, but due to the uh, popular in the world, uh, they can do this work in uh, just like the uh, testing environment and the staging environment. So I don't uh, uh, want the people to use them in the production environment. Uh, there, uh, there, uh, we need to uh, some other tools to help the uh, MySQL to do the things. The first, uh, we should have a uh, uh, data sharding tools, uh, just like Shandsphere and uh, other uh, data uh, the middleware to empower MySQL to store the tracing data. And secondly, uh, she, it should manageable uh, carefully. So the DBA and the operators uh, should be uh, familiar with the MySQL uh, to give some the professional uh, settings uh, to uh, in turn the at the turning the uh, MySQL performance. There are some uh, steps we should uh, do to tweak the MySQL to fix the tracing data. The first one, we should use the buffer writing. The second one, we should use the, the, the engine turning, uh, include some uh, we should increase the buffer pool and use uh, the uh, correct the flash method and uh, use the rotation storage for MySQL. The third, we will separate the traffic uh, so like a read write the separation and uh, we don't make uh, uh, the tracing uh, uh, traffic with the OITB traffic we will separate from it. The third, redundancy callings because the MySQL we will predefine some of the callings uh, to store the annotation of the label so we uh, uh, we should add some more re, uh, redundant say the callings for uh, one uh, single line. Okay, next uh, is the Elite Search. Uh, Elite Search is uh, the, main, uh, the main story the Sky Working uh, is using. Uh, there is a two advantage of the Elite Search. The first, uh, it handles uh, how uh, volume is state. Uh, uh, that's by leveraging has a distributing shard. And uh, it has a uh, uh, Elastic support distributing search out of the box uh, you know, that using concept of shard. A shard is a single loosened instance as managed by Elasticsearch. Uh, you know that they have two types of shards. Uh, the name is the first shard, uh, the primary shard and the replica side uh, shard. By default, uh, a document the first index on the primary shard then a replica to the uh, then to transfer to the replica side. The number of the primary shard can be specific. Uh, by default, um, uh, the guy working usually to set the number of the shard to uh, one, only one. So actually we don't need to replica it. While the performance uh, across the date can be handled by sharding. It is important to know that the shard was created for index cannot be changed. The shard strategy for the date have to be decided in advantage after assessment of the date and uh, estimation of its growth. In that case of creation tracing date, the sharding strategy can be based on the trace ID and span ID. By storing data in a structure, the analysis can be enabled on the date. Not only can be application performance a uh, simple search, it is also possible for restricted tracing uh, search for the specific term and the over a specific time period. Uh, structural stories also make it easier uh, to develop reports with the well-defined visualization. The in turn makes it easier to understand the current state of application. It is also possible to perform the very uh, the various analysis operation, just like a time series lineation using time step. So Elasticsearch does not provide the building support for analysis. So our uh, tracing system, just like the one thinking, provides the analysis uh, capability uh, to this system. So there's uh, some tips on how to use Elasticsearch storage tracing data. The first, uh, 
you should always monitoring the disk, uh, the workmark. Uh, you should be uh, take careful, take care, because all the workmark, the, all of the in index on the indices will be marked as read only. You can write a single any date into the index search. Uh, the second, uh, the writing queen, the default writing queen about the two hundred. You must uh, the override. That means that the request. Uh, being accessed faster than they can be precise. So you already default the queue size. The third is to reduce the replica, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we usually set it to only one. So uh, if the data is written to elect search, they will not be uh, transferred to another node. So I will reduce the uh, bandwidth of the whole system will be used. The uh, uh the fourth one is a uh, clean up by the crooker uh, because uh, Elastic cannot the clean up uh, the old days of the 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 dendry date, so you must uh, uh, count, uh you must set up uh, a crooker daemon to clean uh the old index if you don't want to use it. So finally, we will talk about the the new time series database. Uh, they have some uh, pro and cons uh, point we should uh, uh, to mention here. Uh, uh, for the advantage, uh, the writing and the reading patients is more suitable for the distributing system because uh, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, have more writes than reads. Uh, about 90% uh, of the operation on time three data are rise. This is determining about the data character. For tracing data, you may have a lot of trace span, but you are only concerned about a few of them. Usually, uh, we only read data of several key metrics or in the specific time range. The most of the recent data is generated in real time, and it's not update. update. Uh, time series data is written in the real time, and the, the data written each time is most re re uh, recent time. It is determined by the tracing data generation character, right? Because such data is generated over time, and the new data is written in real time. Data is written and it's not updated uh, in the uh, time dimension. Uh, the recent data have a higher possibility to raise the more recent date and the higher data rate possibility. Uh, to, uh, taking monitoring data as an example, we really only take care of what happened in the last few hours or the few days, rather than what happened in one month or years ago. And uh, uh, timeline, so time series data is a time sensitive. Uh, time series database usually have the retention window. Uh, data beyond the retention window can be considered uh, inactive and uh, can be removed later. Uh, that's uh, the big difference from the elastic. Elastic must uh, be work with the crucial uh, uh, demand to clean its uh, old date. So time series uh, by a, the timeline uh, by the uh, uh, the, uh, by the retention window to clean up the old days. To also have some uh, disadvantage of time series. The first, uh, because all of the time uh, series database is very new, so um, we may face that the, the lack of support from the operating teams. Uh, the second way, uh, because uh, the time series database was designed to uh, increase the linear data, but the tracing data is not linear, it's the various. Uh, it depends on the uh, really uh, uh, requires from the real world. So uh, that uh, so uh, when you use the uh, time series database to uh, say uh, tracing data, you may uh, face some performance issues. The uh, last one is the high uh, can generate um, the high can generate. Um, because I uh, some time series database is uh, not uh, to uh, see the the scanner, so hey, uh, hey, when, when the candidate uh, candidate just like the labels, annotations, uh, 
it's too much we will cause the whole system to crash okay the final part we are talking about the sky working storage model okay then no much time we will speed up the first uh, uh, so we can introduce the segment. Uh, segment a uh, collection of the spines generated in one single instance of a service. It is the uh, atomic unit of the storage. It will reduce in the uh, candidates of the data set. So we will, uh, 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 well, bad, uh, we will get the better performance than the traditional tracing data, just uh, like I mentioned in the first part. As a segment. Next, uh, Skywalking supports uh, a multiple storage. You can switch between them. Uh, depends on uh, how you uh, how, how because uh, 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 some companies and some groups uh, uh, used to use the MySQL. You can use MySQL if you have a uh, a, 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 you have need the search. Uh, you have, you have need the search service, so you may have the Elastic Search. And uh, if your operation team is uh, familiar with the influent DB, you can use them. So you have uh, a lot of choice uh, to select uh, one appropriate storage engine from them. Okay, there are other features uh, how uh, the storage module can uh, improve the performance of the storage. The first one, uh, Skywalking has uh, batch writing uh, features. Uh, it can improve some of the performance that just like MySQL and the uh, search. And uh, he have uh, 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 a data retentional feature. Uh, you can give a different uh, strategy and uh, implement for different uh, store layers. Uh, so uh, uh, some uh, storage uh, services like Elasticsearch, MySQL don't have uh, this feature. So you you can by leveraging this feature to uh, storage uh, the tracing data. The final layer is the down sampling. Uh, different data keep different uh, uh, retention strategy. So you can uh, by uh, from this feature you can query. Uh, uh, some uh, metrics uh, about one year ago, but uh, you don't need the, the uh, storage or original tracing data. So you can clean up the original gallery result. Uh, 